everybody, and welcome to Period Talk. My name is Ada, and as you might have figured out, I'm here to talk to you about periods. Yes, periods. So let's start off with the very basics. What is a period? So a period is the time of the month when the endometrium, the uterine lining, sheds, causing vaginal bleeding. Typically, this is a sign that you're not pregnant. So now to do some quick vocab, let's distinguish between menstruation, period, and the menstrual cycle, because periods are part of the menstrual cycle. They are not the same thing. The menstrual cycle refers to the approximately 28 day process during which the body prepares for pregnancy, while the period on the other hand is the around three to seven days during which your body excretes blood and other fluids through the vagina if pregnancy does not occur. Don't worry, we'll get into the details in just one second. So, who menstruates? The very first period is called the menarche. The menarche usually occurs when a person is between the ages of 10 and 15, and the average age is around 12. But that age has actually been getting younger and younger over the last few decades. People are starting to get their periods earlier. Menopause, on the other hand, marks the end of your menstrual cycle and is diagnosed after someone has gone without a period for 12 months in a row. This usually occurs around the age of 51. People who experience menstruation are those who are assigned female at birth. So that means that over half of the global population has a period on a monthly basis for about 40 years of their life. Period believes that it is important to be intersectional and inclusive of all period experiences. Some people might be too young or too old for menstruating age and they may have hormonal differences perhaps that are caused by birth control that eliminate their periods. In efforts of being intersectional, it is also important to understand that it is not only women who menstruate. Not all menstruators are women. Some transgender men and people who identify as non-binary or genderqueer, but who have been assigned female at birth might still experience periods. So now let's get to know the uteri. Woo -hoo! So what orchestrates the menstrual cycle and causes all of these changes? It is hormones. At the beginning of each cycle, two female sex hormones, estrogen and progesterone, trigger the growth and maintain the health of the endometrium, which is the lining of the uterine wall. Estrogen is the hormone that triggers the development of breasts, of the uterus, of pubic hair, armpit hair, while progesterone, on the other hand, is the hormone that prepares the body for pregnancy after an egg is released, which is also known as ovulation and it helps with the healthy development of a pregnancy. The endometrium is made out of tissue and blood and is spongy enough to make the perfect landing place for a fertilized egg. The egg travels from the ovary through the fallopian tube where it sits and waits to be fertilized by a sperm cell. It can sit in there between 12 to 24 hours. If pregnancy does not occur, the egg and uterine lining are shed as blood, exiting the body through the vagina. And this, my friends, is what we call menstruation. So that is our insides, but what about the outsides? A very common mistake is calling the whole outer part the vagina. This is wrong. The vulva is actually the external part of the female genitals, while the vagina is the internal canal. The vagina is basically where your tampon or your menstrual cup sit if you use one of those. It is an elastic muscular canal with a soft, flexible lining. If you stick one finger up your vagina, you'll be able to feel your cervix, which is the entrance of the uterus and where the vagina ends. Well, how do you know what the cervix feels like? Well, it kind of feels like the tip of your nose. The vulva, on the other hand, is the tissue that surrounds the opening of the vagina, which includes the labia majora, the outer lips, the labia minora, the inner lips, and the clitoris. All of these organs are located below the mons pubis, the pad of fatty tissue on top of the pubic bone, and above the anus. Here's another common misconception, that people with vaginas have two holes. That is wrong, it's three. One is the vagina, another one is the urethra above the vagina through which you pee, and the anus, which is below the vagina, through which you poop. 
So this is the basics of menstruation. Please stay tuned for more episodes to come on period products, period blood, endometriosis, period pain, and so much more. So please make sure to click that subscribe button and give that video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, please leave a comment down below and let us know if you learned anything new today or if there's anything that you would like us to touch on in other videos. Thank you so much. We love you so much. Bye.